Hey guys, Deirdre Malumbi from Entertainment.ie here, and this is my review for No Time to Die. Story-wise, you know the stitch. Daniel Craig is back as the iconic James Bond one last time. At the start of the movie, he's retired from MI6, but it doesn't take long before he's roped into yet another mission to save the world. Now, the good news about the 25th Bond movie is that it absolutely delivers on everything fans of the franchise love. There's the action, the melodrama, the globetrotting, the stylishness. In many ways, No Time to Die is the most Bond-like a Bond movie ever. It's that overfilled with cliches. As for the performances, Daniel Craig delivers an admirable swan song and newcomers to the franchise like Lashana Lynch, Anna de Armas and Rami Malek impress. The villain's plot is not as overly convoluted as previous 007 movies, but it also never really makes sense and the film's weakest part, unfortunately, is that final act when you really start to feel that almost three hour running length. In conclusion, No Time to Die is easily the third best Daniel Craig Bond flick after Casino Royale and Skyfall. Our final score is 3.5 out of 5 stars. Let us know what you thought of No Time to Die in the comments.